and what I want everybody to do, first of all, I want everybody off the sidewalk, I want everybody behind that line. And until I say that you can move in and touch in, and all that, just stay back there. And all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them in there. Then, then I still want you to stay back there for a minute. Then what I'm going to do is get them what you call two. And basically, I'm going to get them restrained so that I can hold them. And you guys will have the opportunity. Then you can come up and you can touch the animal. We can talk about the animal, talk about the biology, um, those types of things. So, so uh, just give me three or four minutes here and I'll get everything under control. He's not real happy. No. <laughs> Timber rattlesnake. This is one of the two venomous species that we have here in the southern Blue Ridge Mountains in, in North Georgia. <laughs> um, this is a very big timber. It would be incredibly rare to find an animal this big. The other thing I should say about timber rattlesnakes up here in the mountains is that they're very rare. I mean, people think they're common, but they've become very, very rare. The copperhead, the animal we have at the top here, is actually a a much more common snake. So, why don't, uh, does anybody want to, anybody ever touch the rattlesnake? Anybody want to come feel the skin or touch the rattles? I haven't touched the rattlesnake. Come on up. <laughs> if you look at the face, you see there's a couple big holes. There's like those little pits. That's why they call them pit vipers. And they, they can essentially seep out of those pits. Like you're, you're right, but that's below. That's just the line. That's the line you're talking about from the tail down. That they call the the, uh, the anus. Actually, but if that, that's split, you're right. This is a rattlesnake. That is the biggest thing I've seen. I've got him. He can't move. Under, completely under control. So is actually when I was young, I used to have a freaking fear of snakes, and then I, and I turned into a very intense passion interest, and uh, 